And the Reverend Al Sharpton will deliver a eulogy on Saturday in Detroit for that seven-year-old little girl killed during a police raid at her family's home. Ayanna Jones died after being shot in the neck. Police say they were at the home looking for a suspect in the murder of a teenager, and the officer's gun accidentally discharged. The officers were being filmed by a reality TV camera crew at the time. Richard Weinblatt is a firearms instructor and former police chief. Richard, thanks for joining us. Nice to see you again, Tamron. I, Good to be here, ma'am. Great having you on. And I know I don't want to put you in an awkward position because we were not there, so I'm just going to go by what the authorities right. are saying happened. But when we hear the term that the gun accidentally discharged, how is that possible? Well, that's, that's kind of disconcerting to firearms instructors. Uh, you know, first off, we obviously want to see what all the facts come out in an investigation. However, if the facts show there was an accidental discharge, and as firearms instructors, we actually call it a negligent discharge, because there really should be no such thing as an accident. Uh, not put our finger in the area of the trigger, in the trigger guard, because if you get, if you bump into somebody, as was one report, or you grab onto somebody in a physical confrontation, as was another report of what happened inside the hallway of the house, you have something called a sympathetic reflex, where if one hand squeezes, then the firearms hand will squeeze, uh, and that's a problem. And we train with that. And SWAT team, and this was a special response team, mm -hmm. which commonly is known as a SWAT team. They called SRT in Detroit, but commonly known as SWAT team. SWAT teams train over and over to be very, very quick about going from having their finger out of the trigger guard to in the trigger yeah. guard to out of the trigger guard to in. And because and you're that's a, a form, problem. That's you're, a, because you're a former police chief, I'll ask you this. What do you think mm -hmm. of the, these shows where they've got the camera crews following the officers? These are real life situations, and I know it may be entertaining mm -hmm. television, but wouldn't that just add pressure to an already tense situation? You've got a camera crew right there. Uh, actually, you know, the officers, if they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, their training is so intense, especially for these SWAT or special response teams, uh, that they're doing what they're trained to do and they're focusing on that. So I don't really have a problem with the camera crews. Uh, you as a member of the media probably love that answer, but I really don't have a problem uh, with the camera crews. I think you guys are all great. It, that's not the problem. The problem is uh, a training issue. Is there a training issue or not? And I think that's part of what needs to be addressed here in the investigation that the Michigan State Police are going to do of the Detroit shooting. All right, Richard, great insight. Thank you. And I want to point out you're not a part of the investigation, but your background qualifies no, you to give us uh, some insight into uh, some of the stories, uh, some of the facts of the story that at least have been released. Thank you, Richard. Greatly appreciate it. All right.